The political battle lines are certainly drawn. We'd love to know what you think about the Department of Justice lawsuit and Arizona's response to it and the law and the targets and the potential for civil rights violations. This topic has sparked a lot of feedback, and today is no exception. So let's get right to it. Here's some comment, beginning on Twitter, where plenty of comments are coming in, the account being HLN TV. Barb writes in that she doesn't buy the argument against the law. I live in Arizona, and I'm so tired of the racial profile card. Once again, illegal. Do you know the definition? And another post from Twitter, also backing Arizona, better, stricter border enforcement would have eliminated this issue altogether. Our government needs to get up to speed. All right, let's grab a call. John is in Arizona. John, welcome. Talk to us. You, you say you have been a, a profile victim yourself? I've had three uh, unfortunate instances of racial profiling, twice uh, with my family in the vehicle, uh, once by myself. Uh, it was strictly racial profiling because at the end of the incident, uh, no citation was given. There was never a traffic infraction. And as a matter of fact, uh, the first time was the Border Patrol. Second time was the Sheriff's Department. And each time when the officer approached the driver's door, they started speaking to me in Spanish. Wow. Well, I am of Cape Verdean descent, although I was born in Massachusetts, served two years in Vietnam. I couldn't speak Spanish if my life depended on it. They just assumed I was Spanish because I was a non-white. Did you and the file, third time you, was with the local police. Did you file a complaint? Did you tell anybody about it? Oh, what, what do you, who are you going to tell? I mean, you're not, you're not going to win. Yeah. And who, who would you tell? Yeah. If, if it's a uh, minority's word against a police officer, this is an incredibly racist state. And all the governor did was hand out diners club cards to each law enforcement officer. They now have cop launch to do their racial profiling. You think that's the And I'm, a, I'm absolutely convinced of that. Right. And I, I don't, I'm 63 years old. I have no police record, never been in trouble with the law. I'm an honorably discharged Vietnam veteran. And you, you sort of look over your shoulder all the time, huh? Uh, well, I don't, I, I'm a man of reality, so I know what to expect, what not to expect. And I, but I don't run from adversity. I wasn't born that way. Because people will say, well, why don't you just leave Arizona? Well, you don't run in the face of adversity. You face it up. All right, John, I appreciate it. Great call. Thanks. Uh, we also headed to get your views on the immigration battle uh, to, uh, to, to a lot of other venues. And here's what we heard from you. This was on a tour of uh, CNN Center earlier today, or your views tour. I think that uh, since we are the United States of America, that uh, the immigration laws should be governed by the federal government and not individual states. I don't take any particular side in terms of state or the federal government, but I believe that if you're going to live in the United States and enjoy the rights and the privileges, that you should be a legal resident. All right, let's grab a couple Facebook comments. I think we got time for a couple. Here's uh, what April has just written this. Anybody who's offended by this doesn't fully understand the harm illegal immigrants are doing. They're literally taking money away from all of us hardworking American citizens. Educate yourselves before you put this law down. Melissa says, they say it's not profiling, but it is. It profiles U.S. citizens. My parents taught me the golden rule. Would you like that done to you?